Hey, I'm going to show you exactly how to unlock a BlackBerry 8100 on Cellular One or Dobson's network. Follow the step-by-step -step process, and by the end of this process, you will have an unlocked BlackBerry 8100 on Cellular One or Dobson's network. Right, for, you have to find your IMEI number on your BlackBerry Pro because that's what we need. Um, so you'll take the IMEI number, go to globalunlock.com, and get your unlock code. How do you get the IMEI number? Type in star, pound, zero, six, pound, and you will see a number appear on the screen. Right? There's some dots in there. Don't worry about the dots. There's spaces, slashes, all that kind of stuff. Um, that's not really something to worry about. All we need is the numerical. So you take that number. Go over to globalunlock.com, enter that into our website, um, follow the instructions there. What we need is your make, your model, your network sometimes. If your network's not required, then hit other, um, and your IMEI number. And we calculate your unlock code off of that. Uh, so now, assuming that you've done that, you've gone to Global Unlock and you've got your unlock code, uh, we can move on to the next step. All right, now we're going to do the unlocking of the, of the um, BlackBerry. So I'll show you step by step here on exactly what you need to do for the unlocking process of it. Um, first of all, you'll notice it says insert SIM cards. I need to insert a SIM card into this phone. So I'm going to insert a SIM card. All right, so I've inserted a SIM card into the phone. Anyone who has a BlackBerry knows how the great um, turn on time and how long it takes. So I, I will power that on and then I will show you the exact steps. Um, of course, there's also written um, steps of this which um, you uh, will get or should have got um, as well with this video that will walk you step by step through exactly what I'm doing. So the first step is to um, I'll say insert your SIM card into the phone. Um, I've inserted a FIDO SIM card, which is a SIM card that doesn't work with this phone. You can see it's a Rogers, and I've inserted a FIDO. So um, you power on the phone and you turn off the radio, so make sure that the wireless is actually off. Um, it's very important to make sure of this when you're unlocking the uh, BlackBerry Pearl. As you know, this process will work on the 8100, the 8110, the 8120, any basically back the Pearl D. 8300s have a very similar process, like, example here, you're going to press an MEPPD, there you'll press an MEPD. Um, so I'll show, you, I'll show you that in a second, but it's, uh, really, it's really similar. If you haven't checked out the Global Unlock eBook yet, definitely do that. Um, it, also the Global Unlock Toolbar. Um, accredited by Better Business Bureau, uh, needing help call your 800 number, there's a lot of stuff I can tell you um, and why we're a credible source for doing business with and unlocking phones. been doing this for about five years. Okay, so um, now I've killed some time doing that, um, let me actually show you the process. So I'm going down to applications, right, uh, it says invalid SIM card. You see the invalid SIM card message on there? And applications. So you can actually put the original SIM card in, or you can put in an invalid SIM card. You just need to have a SIM card in. And with the original SIM card, you have to make sure your wireless is off. With this, you don't. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go. I need to find options. So I found options. I'm going to click on options. Now I'm going to click on advanced options. Then I'm going to go and I'm going to find SIM card. Click on SIM card. Now I'm typing in Michael Edmund, Peter, Peter, David, M E P. PD. Now you see where it says active, that shows you that this phone is still locked. If it said uh, disabled, that means that your phone's actually already unlocked. So now I'm gonna, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to actually type in uh, M-E-P-P -P Alt 2. So Michael Edmund, Peter Peter Alt 2. Now I have 250 tries left on this phone, I haven't tried to unlock it yet. If that gets to zero, um, good, good luck in doing that. It's pretty tough, it took a lot of time to do that. Uh, so if you put in the wrong code too many times, um, that's what it will come down to. Also, this code will not work on your phone because the unlock code is unique for each phone. So make sure that you have your unlock phone, globalunlock.com, and or, that will work on your phone. Um, actually, you know what? Let me show you two things. Let me actually show you where I'm just going to put in the wrong number. I've just typed the numbers. 
code error. Please wait. What does that mean? That means that obviously uh, it did not work because I put in the wrong unlock code. Now let me show you uh, myself doing it right. Michael Edmund Peter Peter all two, and I'm going to put in two three two seven five seven five six. So that is the correct unlock code. So I'm going to enter it in the phone. Then I'm going to hit the jog. Code accepted. Now you notice that it said disabled here. Um, and you'll notice that um, the phone number 416-857-7601 is on here. That's a global unlock phone number. Uh, one of the numbers, and you call one 866 unlock So now you'll also notice that it says Rogers Wireless. We actually picked up a network.